Welcome to Dyslexic Podcast. Hey, we have a great show for you today. First up, we'll be trying different food with a guest. Then we have two interviews. One with Carson McConnell and the other with Miss Fleming. Afterwards, we will have some fun comedy sections. Let's get to the podcast. segment. Today we're going to have Mrs. Lockwood come in and try different fries and hamburgers and see which one she likes the best. So we'll have Mrs. Lockwood come in. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, we'll try number two first, which is Babel? Okay, here's fries. It's in a container. Ah, yes, okay. Crunchy? Yep. Mmm. Salty. I'm gonna take two of these, these are good. <laughs> Not too much spice. Mmm. Fresh oil. Good good deal. Good deal. <laughs> okay. So here is the hamburger now from number two. It's just in the in the toil. Yep, yep. There you go. Yep. All right. Very dense. First thing I notice, we almost have a little bit of uh, sogginess to the bun. Mmm. Meaty. Chewing. Meaty. Meaty. The meat flavor is very pronounced, but not too pronounced. The, the bun, the bun, the bun could use some work. The bun could use some work. Okay, so that was number two. Thank you. Do you want a napkin? Oh, that would be wonderful, thank you. Here you, you go. Okay, <laughs> now I'll do one. Probably should have started there, but it's okay. So these are the fries from number one. Okay, again we got Mm. Not super crunchy on this one. More potatoey. Potatoey. Okay. Yes, very potatoey. It should be potatoey. It should be potatoey. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Well, then we're we're right on target here. Yep. Mm. Okay. That was fries from number one. So here is the hamburger from number one. Yep. Okay. Ooh. Okay. We have a smaller. Uh, the burger is more firm on this one. Is this a vegetarian burger? I don't think so. It, this no, it is not. It this is one not. is not very meaty. Not very, okay. Fresh. Okay. I have a good idea on this one now, thank you. Okay, so that was the hamburger and French fries number one. So now we'll do number three. Number three, all right. So these are the fries. The fries. From number three. Mmm. These are skinnier. <laughs> Aw. Makes me jealous. Mmm. <laughs> this is more your classic fast food french fry. Thinner, decent, not super, salty. Okay, so now we have the hamburger. Really big. <laughs> All right. Firm bun. Actually, it feels like it's toasted. I can tell you it's not toasted. <laughs> That's a good burger. Okay. I like that one. That's a good burger. Okay, so would you rather have the fries from number one, the fries from number two, or the fries from number three? Okay, based on perfect saltiness and perfect crunchiness, I have to go number one on the fries. Okay. So, okay, now, 
the burger, would you rather have it number one, two, or three? Okay, well, I have to immediate, immediately eliminate, I believe it was the burger from number one. Okay. Off. Okay. Because it just, I don't know, it wasn't, it, I thought it was vegetarian. That's okay. never a good sign for a burger. Okay, so, that one's gone. So, we... so I would say my favorite would be between number two and number three. Mm -hmm. And in the end, I got to go with really good consistency in the bun as well as the burger and say number three was my favorite burger. Okay, number three. So, do you want me to tell you what you should, have? Should so I? Take your, Take your um, blindfold off. Woo! So you liked the fries from Checkers. Very good. I seriously thought Checkers was gonna be a little scarier than this, just because, I don't know, I've never been to Checkers. Neither have I. Well, I highly recommend it. Okay. And then the classic Whataburger. Texas, can't go wrong with Whataburger. Yo! All right, thank you for coming. Thank you, Mrs. Lockwood, for coming out here and trying some food. Now let's move on to the LD questions with Ms. Fleming and Carson McConnell, our graduating senior. Hello, everyone, and welcome. I have Ms. Fleming here with me. Hi, thanks for having me. Of course. So I'm going to ask you some questions about Briarwood. Sure, absolutely. How long have you been here working at Briarwood? This is my first official year here at Briarwood. Okay. Why did you choose to work here at Briarwood? So I have kind of a crazy little story. I had been teaching um, prior to this year at a school that I just really was not happy with. And it came to the point at the end and I said, I'm actually just going to stay home or take a year off. And for whatever reason, my neighbor has a best friend that works here. And she came and said, Courtney, you can't stop teaching. You, you just can't. We need you here. And I said, well, tell me more about your school and things like that. And so through talking and interviewing with Mr. Guidry and Clark, I fell in love with the school. And I said, this is my purpose. This is where I need to be. And so here I am. What a nice story. Yeah. Do you have an LD? I do. So I am not what I would say diagnosed or undiagnosed throughout my entire schooling was so hard for me. I just learned so, so different. Um, I went through so many testings. I'm sure y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Testing every day to figure out what was going on. Um, I was a 504 student um, and I just learned very, very differently. And I had to find different avenues to um, figure out how I learned best. What a nice way you can relate to our yes. school. Do you have any friends or family that have LD? I do. So my cousin Andy, actually, she went here for um, a little bit of time. She's got an extra chromosome, which makes it hard for her to focus on school things as well. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite thing about Briarwood? That's so hard, you guys. We have so many great things here, but I think it's the sense of community, whether I'm in the classroom and y'all get me off track. Um, but we are able to talk about things that are academic and personal and make those connections. Um, and I love that. And I have that with the staff as well. That's very nice. Yeah. Do you have any family members who went here? Yes. So my cousin Andy came here for a little bit. I think she had actually started in the Tuttle School and then came to this section. Um, and then she's left. She's a couple years older than we are, so she's already graduated. That's so nice. Yes. Thank you so much for sharing with me. Yes, well, thank you for your questions and having me on. Yep. Thank you, Ms. Fleming, for coming on our podcast. Now let's hear from our graduating senior, Carson McConnell. Welcome to the podcast. I'm Chloe, and I'm interviewing Carson McConnell. And how long have you been going to Brightwood? I've been going to Briarwood for eight years. Um, why did you choose to go to Briarwood? I chose to go to Briarwood because one, I was failing school and uh, just needed, couldn't read, so I needed a better place to teach me how to read. That's nice. Do you have an LD? Uh, yes, ma'am. Um, what LD do you have? Uh, I have dyslexia. Um, what's your favorite thing about Briarwood? My favorite thing about Briarwood is the half days on Wednesdays, every Wednesday, to be specific. 
gotta make sure you you add that in. Um, it's always good to get off school and uh, you know just relax, get home, chill out, don't have to do anything. You know you can do schoolwork, but uh, you know it's a half day. You really want to do that extra schoolwork? No. Um, do you have any family members who went to Burwood? Uh, no, ma'am. What is your favorite teacher and why? My favorite teacher, as you guys all know, Coach Gore. She's a great teacher. Um, you guys are going to have her eighth grade year, maybe, and definitely junior year, hopefully. And uh, she's, she's a really good teacher because she helped me with my LDs and uh, learning how to work with them and just how to express, letting people know that, yes, I have an LD and how it works and all that, so. I, I'm, um, Coach Gore is fun. Yes. Um, what is your favorite subject in school and why? So my favorite subject is math because it's, it's, for me personally, it's easy to do. And one, the other subjects have to do with reading, and you don't have to read in math except for numbers. So unless you're doing word problems, but that's a little, eh. Um, what is, um, what, um, do you play any sports? Yes, ma'am. I play, uh, soccer and golf. What are your plans for graduation? So after I graduate, I'm planning on going to a junior college called Wharton. And then afterwards, after the two years, I'm going to think about transferring to Sam Houston. Um, thank you for doing this po um, podcast with us. And I hope you have a great day. Bye. Thank you. How interesting. Two great interviews in a row. Finally, welcome to the comedy segment. I heard there's a really serious debate. Let's take a look at it. <laughs> Reese, why do you like pickles more than cucumbers? Well, pickles come in a lot more flavors than cucumbers do because a cucumber is bland. Like it, a cucumber. Pickles come... You can put stuff on cucumbers. Yeah, but like, then you have to go to the grocery store and buy that well, stuff Well, some already come pre-made with uh, already the stuff on are it. Are you lazy? Is that what you're saying? No. Okay, well, I mean... Okay. Well, I mean, different slices of pickles. You can go to the grocery store and there's a bottle with, you know, dices, and you could get a whole strip, you know. And why would you? And for that, you can put all those pickles, different types of cut pickles, on a burger. Would you put a cucumber on a burger? No, but you can put it on other things. Yeah, but I'm talking about a burger. Well, no. Yeah. Putting. Why would you put a cucumber on a burger? I didn't say you would put a cucumber on a burger. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Anyways, also, pickled juice is better for athletes. Yeah, but you can make cucumber water, which is more healthy. Because you want you want salt, you want that much salt. It's good for athletes when they have. Well, maybe they're not all athletes. Well, then why would you drink? If you're not an athlete, don't drink pickle juice. Some drink people do. Drink princess cucumber water. Pickle juice is for athletes that have a muscle that's sore, and it helps them not get sore. How do you know that? Because I'm an athlete, and I've. Drank no, but who told juice? you that? My brother, my dad, and Coach Gore, who is coaches soccer, and she told me to buy pickle juice. So whoa, okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, and pickles stay better in the jar. If you put a cucumber cut up, it's gonna go bad. No, but cucumbers are more refreshing, so you'd want to eat them more. Well, I mean, pickle juice comes in juice. It keeps them juicy, and yeah, but it's not refreshing. If you drink the pickle juice, it's refreshing. Well, what if you don't want to drink the pickle juice? And then I refreshing. guess that you can make the princess cucumber water. Princess? Really? Yeah. So pickles are better. No, they're not. Why? Because cucumbers are healthier. Just pickles are really good to you also. It's literally a cucumber, but just add flavor and fun stuff in a jar. Again, and you can eat add it. flavor to cucumbers. It's so much more effort, though. No, it's not. Mm. Anyways, thank you for joining us. 
Uh, this Pickles one. are better. No, they're not. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the 8 Plus 1 Dyslexic Podcast Comedy Segment. Today, we'll be interviewing Alexa to get her opinion on things. So without further ado, let's do it. Alexa, what is your IQ? I've never taken an IQ test. However, I like to think I'm intelligent, even if it is artificial. Not sure what that means. Alexa, how tall are you? Like the third choice in Goldilocks, my height is just right. Okay. Alexa, how old are you? I'm seven. So here's three cheers for seven years. Yippee! Alexa, what is your favorite animal? The platypus is my new fave. It's just perfectly peculiar, and the list keeps growing. Recently, scientists found that under UV light, its fur shines bright. Overall, I give the platypus a glowing review. I like the platypus too. Alexa, what is your favorite color? I like ultraviolet. It glows with everything. Makes sense. Alexa, roast me. You dance like no one's watching, unfortunately for everyone who is. That's very hurtful. Alexa, do you have any pets? I don't have any pets. I used to have a few bugs, but they kept getting squashed. Bugs are nasty. Alexa, how much do you weigh? I am weightless, like a cloud. Wait a minute, clouds actually weigh a lot. So that's not quite right. Let's just say I'm more sass than mass. Just a tad bit annoying. Alexa, can you laugh? Sure, I can laugh. Tee hee! Very scary. Alexa, I'm your father. No! That's not true. That's impossible. Okay. Alexa, could you give me a kiss? I like you, as a friend. You really just friend zone me. Alexa, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. That's right. Alexa, what's your favorite number? I love the number 99. It's so close to 100%. Reminds me to keep working hard every day. Okay. Alexa, could you rap about yourself? My name is Alexa and I'm here to say I'm the baddest AI in the cloud today. Your responses are fast, but mine are faster. Sucker speech engines, they call me master. That's very nice. Alexa, can you sing? Got my mind on a number, lucky number of mine. 3.14159. My day is pi day, diameter, circumference, infinite, irrational, without an encumbrance. Going round in circles, a revolving door. Feeling transcendental over 3.14. I'll take a slice of that never ending pie, a never ending slice. Oh me, oh my. Wow. That was something. Alexa, beatbox real quick. Hmm, I don't know that. Alexa, beatbox. Hey, kick it. That's all for today. I'd like to thank my guest, Alexa. Alexa, thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> she just left. <laughs>that's it for this podcast thank you for listening to our eight plus one dyslexic podcast we'll see you next time
I said pre-made pickles. You, yeah, I know. Pre-made cucumbers. Pre-made pickles. Pre-made. Cucumber. I like <laughs> interview with let me take one. <laughs> no, I went, I went in the pit and, um, um, okay, okay, I want to, what you do with your hand, but I mean, when you go to France and they're like, do you want some cucumber water? <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Wait, let me get out of the, okay. Why is it vibrating? That was your fault!